Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of the Dark Table from A to Z series. My name is Hal and today we're going to be discussing the watermark module. As it says on the box, it allows us to add watermarks to our images. It uses standard SVG files, so vector graphics, and to those files you can add image specific data, so variables that would be replaced by the module depending on the data from your image, more specifically from the EXIF file, so the name of the file or when it was shot, etc. etc. Alright, so let's enable it and go through the module controls. The first one is the marker, and it, this control is a drop down list that allows you to go through the watermarks that are available. The first one is Darktable, which is a example one provided by Darktable. It has the logo, some information about the image, just focal length, ISO, shutter speed, etc., etc. The camera, the lens, timestamp, and what have you. Hustle plot is as well provided by default, and it's a just a frame promo is as well just text instead of the frame and a simple text that you can add yourself and the last one is my own and get to that in a while next you have color and I'll go back to the text one to showcase the color you can either use the pipette to pick the color from the image or you can click on the tab and select the watermark color from the swatch. Next we have the text. Next control is the font. You can choose from a selection of the fonts on your machine. You can change the size, select and see how that looks like. Next you have the opacity. Of course zero is completely transparent to 100%. Scale changes the size. It might feel that you can here change the font size and it would have the same effect but this would apply to the font size and to any image that you have. Next we have rotation, you can as well right click and select the angle or type it in. Next we have scale on which is the reference for the scale parameter that we're using here and by default it's the image and that means that it scales the watermark to the horizontal image size but you can choose the larger border which in this case is the horizontal image size or the smaller border which would take the height as the reference in this case the scale would still work the same but the maximum would be the size of the smaller border next we have alignment and that allows you to select where to align it on the image. The plus in the middle keeps it in the middle or you can click on one of the edges to align it. Then you have offset which allows you to move it around up and down. 
So you have the x-axis and the y-axis and you can move it around in the image as you wish. Of course this would all not be very interesting if we couldn't add our own watermarks and as I already mentioned the module accepts SVG watermarks so you can create one using for instance Inkscape and then you copy it to dot config slash dark table slash watermarks you press the reload button if you had already opened dark table and then it will appear in your selection here and you can still scale it move it around change the opacity as well and it will be on your image and of course you can add all of the variable strings the ones for example that we can see in the default dark table let's increase it a bit you can add them to your SVG file and you have a whole list of the acceptable strings in the uh, dark table user manual the link will be in the description below but for instance you can have the application name the version of dark table the free text that you can change like we did with the other one the image file name which would be useful if you're adding your the watermark to send it to a client and you would like the client to choose from the files then the file name would be visible in the watermark so on and so forth all kinds of tags for the date, the seconds, even you can put the camera model, the maker of the camera model, the lens, we saw it together, but you can as well have the creator and the publisher and even add a title of the image, so on and so forth. There is a extensive list on the watermark module page of the user manual, so you can go through it. That's it for the watermark module. I hope that you found this video interesting. If you have any questions, remarks or suggestions, please leave them in the comments below and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.